All right, guys. My name's Cameron, I'm from Canome. Uh, we are the distributor for Vogels and Future Automation, two of the brands we'll be talking about today. I actually run our commercial side, which we'll focus on a bit more uh, in this presentation for Vogels, because uh, I think last time you probably would have all attended the consumer side of things, which Robert did last year. So I'll touch on some points, just a bit of a refresher, but then we'll get more into the commercial gear, because that is a nice growing part of uh, our business, and uh, I think with uh, uh, radio parts as well, you're getting a bit more into our commercials gear. So these are the two brands from Vogels. It's funny, it's one brand, but it's two brands, consumer and professional. And it's an interesting thing, they're on two different levels of the, of the company, professional first level, consumer grand level, and they very rarely talk to each other. It's really an odd situation. Um, so Vogels, a bit of background information on the brand. It was started over 40 years ago by a gentleman named Harry Vogels. Harry was in the market for some loudspeaker supports. He had some bookshelf speakers. He, and the trend at the time was to either have floor standers or sit your speakers on a shelf or sit them on the windowsill. And, you know, that's how they did it back there in the Netherlands. And he, he just didn't accept that. He didn't want that. So what he decided, I'm going to, well, I'll go look for a warm out. Let's go see if I can find a warm out for my bracket. Uh, couldn't find anything that he wanted to use at all. He goes, well, I've got to be able to use something, so I'll come up with something myself. I'm a bit of a handyman in the shed. I'll come up with something myself. And that product was the BEK100. It was only stopped being sold about five to ten years ago. So it was a significant product for Vogels, a bit of a legacy product. Vogels was founded in May 1973. Uh, it's based in Eindhoven in the Netherlands. Uh, that's where head office is. And um, Vogels have become the world's largest, uh, sorry, uh, Europe's largest audiovisual accessory supplier. And with a reach that goes into many, many countries, over 50 plus countries, it's been sold in. Uh, Canom and Vogels have had a 25 year partnership. So it's a significant partnership and it all started for us in, with Canome is that our previous sales manager, he had a van, he loaded the van up full of different brackets, completely chockers and drove all the way up the east coast as far as he could go and then started coming all the way back slowly and then just stopped at every AV retailer he could find and basically when he got back to Melbourne his van was empty and from there follow up orders came. Very, that's how it's, easy way how it started. Well, not easy for him. I can tell you that's a long drive. Uh, all products are TUV GS certified. The, what that means it's it's a very expensive German uh, testing procedure, and all of our products meet that. Uh, it's put through rigorous tests to ensure quality. Basically, consumer is tested to hold three times its stated weight for safety and professional is five times. So if it says it holds 30 kilos on the consumer side, it's been tested to hold 90 safely. Doesn't mean you exceed that because you avoid your warranty, but at least gives you peace of mind that 30 kilos, no problems. And all products are backed up by an extensive guarantee, which we'll get to. Our current uh, king of the mountain in regards to sales is our wall series. Extremely popular product. Uh, for anything from a 19 inch all the way up to a 100 inch screen, uh, and not just that bra, but there's a variety of different brackets that you'll see in the, in the book. Um, so any, pretty much any screen size is covered by this range here. Sleek design to emphasize slim look and feel of the TVs, you know, with this, the wall 2345, one of our more popular ones that you've even got on the display board, it's 55 mils when it's flat. You know, and then it pulls out and extends from there. And they also include a nice slimline wall plate because you don't want a big, fat, chunky wall plate. It's ugly. Also available, in, most of them are available in white too. So with some of the features on the wall series that, that go out throughout the range we're going to talk about in the consumer side, easy levelling after you've installed it. So once the TV's on and you can see it might be a bit crooked, there's just a screw you loosen on the back and you just straighten her up again. Very, very simple. And um, on the wall plate itself, it has nice big holes on the wall plate. So when you're installing it, you can leave it a mill out and then straighten up the wall plate very simply and then just tighten it up again. It's all about installation. Optimal flexibility, turn up to 120 or 180 degrees. 
Now, I should emphasize, when it says 180 degree swivel, that's without a TV on. It sounds, I know that sounds like we're cheating a bit, but it, it, it's true, it's telling it can turn 180 degrees. It'll go less than that depending on the width of the TV. The wider the TV, the less swivel you get. So for example, if it extends, let's say 100 mil out from the wall, uh, and, but your TV's 200 mil wide, you should be able to get easily 90 degrees out of that. But if the screen's 120 mil, 100, well, sorry, 220, the wider the TV gets, the less rotation you're gonna get because the screen will then hit the wall. It's simple uh, physics. I think. Smooth, optimised tilt. So with a lot of our brackets, you just grab the top and bottom of the screen and just tilt it in position and let go. There's no nuts and bolts to loosen. You just, quite simply, the customer can grab it, tilt it, walk away, and it'll stay where it is. And all of our products do include a form of cable management, whether it's through the bracket or hanging on the bracket. Thin series. Extremely popular, the thin series, especially when ultra-flat TVs first came out. The reason is, these, when they're flat against the wall, they're only 35 mil when they're flat. I think it's the worst, still the world's thinnest articulated wall mount. And with these, they actually extend 630 mil for the thin 345. So they've got quite a big, uh, big extension on that. 65 inch maximum screen size, and as I said, ultra flat against the wall, and all, as with all of our brackets, curved screen compatible. Uh, you just have to obviously check weights and sizes and all that sort of stuff for the appropriate bracket, but all of our brackets are curved screen compatible. Do you sell any curved screens here? No. No. So starting with a thin 345, this is our, and 245. So yet again, 35mm when it's flat, extends 630mm out from the wall. Uh, fingertip movement, you could literally use your little fingers to go and manoeuvre the TV. Swiveling, grab the top, tilt it, stays where you leave it. 180 degree left right, yet again as I said, depending on the width of the TV, because it only extends 530 mil this particular bracket, so if the screen's 1060 you'll get 90 degrees, but if it's any wider than that then you lose that, but that's how it is. 20 degree tilt and available in silver or white to match most install applications. The thin 215 and 315, 20 mil deep, so it's nice and slim against the wall. Take up to a 65 inch on the bigger version, but you've got maximum 15 degree tilt. What I really love about this um, is the wall plate is situated lower for aesthetics. So what that means is that compared to other brackets, when the screen is tilted, as you can see in this picture, you don't see the wall plate. Just really nice little features like that. That's what Vogels think about. And then you've got the thin the 305 and 205. These ones are ultra flat for um, up to 65 inch, 15 millimetres when it's flat against the wall. Probably one of the, it's pro I think it is the thinnest bracket we sell, without a doubt. What's really nice about this is that to do your cable management, etc., you just pull the bottom of the screen out and two little legs pop out from the arms and then the screen will sit on a nice tilt angle like this so then you can get in there and do your cabling and then push them back in. Simple. Simple. The tilt and the flat version both have an integrated spirit level as well, just to, you know, if the home handyman wants to come in and do it, he's got that there for him to use. So there you go, nice. Then you go to the design mount. You've probably all seen the design mount on the display board you have there. Have you all had a chance to have a play with that particular bracket? And you'll know what I talk about when it's it's so smooth, that bracket. 65 inch screen, you could literally use your fingernails and your little finger to manoeuvre that TV. It's just unbelievably well designed. 40 years of experience they put into it. Um, you know, they really, really wanted to make a great product. Uh, I think they succeeded with it, this bracket. It's got what's called the screen protection system. So the screen protection system, it's a scissor arm bracket. And what the screen protection system does, it's a special mechanism built into the, into the wall plate area that uh, doesn't allow the screen to swivel at the, at the wall plate. So when you're pulling the screen out, the screen will never hit the wall. So it protects your screen, protects your wall. We sell uh, quite a lot of these to elderly people because they're never going to damage their screen and wall, plus how easy it is to manoeuvre. Nursing homes, etc., sell a lot to nursing homes. 
smart movement mech, that's the part of that um, uh, SPS. And as you can see, a multi-award winner as well. You've also got accessories for this, such as uh, the column system, one metre length column system, that's only 20 mil deep. And they, on there you can put four of the glass shelves. And each shelf can take 10 kilograms. Just, you know, quite simple, just locks it in nicely. Yeah, it's good. Nice, uh, nice little solution. Some of the other products we do, I know you don't sell them, but we have Sonos brackets as well. Uh, some of your customers might sell Sonos, or they might have already bought a Sonos system from somewhere. So we've got two different versions. We've got a wall bracket uh, for the Play 1 and Play 3. We've got a floor stand for the Play 1 and Play 3 in both colours, all of both those four models. And then the Play Bar as well, to mount underneath any TV and any wall bracket. So that just mounts underneath, you can attach the play bar to that so then the sound's always coming towards you, which is nice. What I love about the floor stands in, in the Vogels range is it comes with an integrated power cable. So you, know, you might only get a one and a half metre cable with the Sonos. You don't want to feed that through and lose a metre and a bit already just trying to feed that through. Whereas ours, cable's already there, you just plug it into the bottom and you've still got another metre and a half to play with, which is really, really handy. Consumer summary, so quality products. You know, it's all about quality with Vogels. A lot of our brackets are also um, uh, come, actually all the brackets come, most of it pre-assembled. So all the arms and everything, you don't have to worry about attaching the actual arms to the wall plate or any of that sort of stuff. It's all pre-assembled. You just need to attach the interface to the screen and hook it on, simple. Fitment guarantee. We have on all our consumer products a, oh, it's not on there, 100% fitment guarantee. So it doesn't matter what screen you're choosing. If you choose a bracket that's its size ranges between a, a, a 50 and a 65 inch, uh, we, guarantee, we guarantee you that it'll fit any screen, bar any, you know, odd screen. You know, you can get some brands you've never heard of in a million years, you probably never will, because it's just some container that's been brought in. Can't account for that, but all your major brands, no problems. If not, we also have service kits available. LG, for example, brought out their screens and they've got 300 wide Visa. I should say all our screens are Visa, all our brackets are Visa compatible. Do you all know what Visa is? Yeah? No. So 300 wide Visa at the top, but only 200 wide Visa at the bottom, which means if you wanted to mount the arms, the arms would do that. You can't do that. So we've got a service kit that mounts to the bottom holes to make them 300, so then you can mount the bracket perfectly. So we've got a lot of different service kits, whether it be LG, Sony, Samsung's, whatever it might be. Uh, lifetime guarantee of the bracket. That's, that's showing confidence in the product. Lifetime. Uh, all hardware is included. Um, in Europe, it's all predominantly brick and concrete walls. So they provide all the necessary plugs, etc. Have you ever heard of a brand called Fisher in regards to mounting? They're provided in the box. And if you know Fisher, you know they're considered the best in regards to plugs. We give them to you in the box. It's part of the product. So that's quality through and through. And lastly, 40 years of experience have gone into creating Vogels. You know, see, so it's backed up by 40 years. It's not some fly-by-night company. 40 years of experience there. Professional. So this is more my area, but professional. So um, it was established in May 2003. There's a gentleman there who saw the need for more commercial applications and, and consumer products just weren't doing what they wanted. So they created a range of commercial products which has grown and grown and grown. And if you look at the brochures, you can see the commercial brochure is a lot thicker than the uh, residential brochure because there's a lot of options. All the professional products are TUVGS certified to five times. So if it says it holds 80 kilograms, it's tested to hold five times that for peace of mind. Installer focus, that's a very big thing actually. We, we, for all of our commercial products are designed for the installer. Uh, it's designed to get the installer in and out. Because you know, if you're doing a hotel with 200 TVs, 200 wall brackets, you know, a one or two day saving installation time, that's big bickies. You know, and that's what our products are. Extensive range of solutions. You'll see in the first couple of pages here of the brochure, there is a minefield of products that you can look at. Where are they? 
this page here that I can't open. Uh, page page 11, look at that. And that's just, that's probably 60% of the solutions available. And we'll get to how to get around all that later on, but that's, there's a whole lot of product there that can, can and easily confuse you. And all our system is modular, uh, so it creates the perfect fit. Our most popular product we sell is our ceiling mounts in the commercial space. The ceiling mounts are a flexible modular design, so designed for pretty much any screen. Multiple displays are possible, so if you want to do a video wall hanging from the ceiling or two screens hanging from the ceiling, no problems. Uh, the modular interface with the perfect fit, so if you've got 400 by 400 Visa or 600 by 400 or even 1100 by 800, we can, we can fit all that, which is nice. Uh, cable inlay system, the pole itself has four, two points behind this plastic cover on the front and two at the back to run all your cables, separate power from data, etc. We say limited components, but unlimited possibilities. The range is, as you can see, it's significant, and we'll go through more of that in a moment. Max two times the ceiling mounts, one pole can take two times 80 kilograms, so 80 kilos back to back, it's super strong. It's all extruded aluminium, so it's super lightweight, but super strong. And the poles themselves, and the, uh, the poles, these can all be easily cut if you need to, or joint. So the maximum length you can do with our poles is six meter drop, and then you can cut it as well to any size you need. So if you need, because our poles come in 80 centimeters, one and a half or three meter lengths. If you needed an odd 4.1 meters, then you can cut, get the three meter, join in one and a half and cut that one and a half to make it 4.1. It's quite simple. So the strips we get with, uh, with the ceiling mount, so these ones here, you can pass this around if you like. What we really love about this product is the attention uh, to detail, like we've got a pull strap here so if you want to wall mount it. These quite simply hook on, so you can see you've got this release mechanism, hooks on very simply just by grabbing it and then clicking it on. And that's it, it's on. Very, very simple. But you'll notice when it's out, as it is now, and in. Now out, normally, if you've got it like that, Oh, if you've got two people carrying a TV, you then have to go and put it back in the out position in case it comes back in. Not with ours. We're in the locked position now. You can still hook it on. You know, yet again, there's it. it's all that installer focused. This is the interface bar that you can see there in the silver. That can go anywhere along the poles you want them to. You just loosen these two nuts here and away you go. Anywhere. Up to 20 degree tilt on these. Just tighten the, the screws on the side. You've got the ability to add a padlock under here if you want to lock it all down. But it's nice, strong, simple. Those will take 80 kilograms each. We've got heavy duty ones which can take 160 kilograms. But it's all very, very simple. Then you go to our floor stands, which is one of the ones we've got here. There's trolley and freestanding options. We've got the freestanding one display, but there's also a bolt to the floor option. So where you can see a nice big floor plate here, on the bolt to the floor one, it's a separate plate about this big. You four bolts into the ground, and that'll take 160 kilos right there. With uh, the pole lengths are available at 1.5, 1.8, which is on display, and then we also have a three, uh, sorry, a two meter pole as well. Uh, perfect for video walls and VC solutions because, yet again, like our ceiling mats, completely modular, completely flexible, no problems. And the uh, pole lengths and the floor plate, etc., will determine how much weight it can take, but a maximum of 160 kilos. So you can put a 98 inch with a touchscreen overlay that weighs 120 kilos, and you'll generally put it on a dual pole solution, as you can see on the screen here. And Yet again, extruded aluminium for aesthetics. Some neat features with these. You've got doors in the side. So that's where your cables go up through the floor plate. As you can see, these pre holes on the side here, and you've got them at different heights. So you can actually have it at different lengths. And all you do is you run the cable, close it all. Quite simple. Nice and strong. The, these are very easy to install, it's another key with these. So I don't know if you can see, there's a small off plate on top of the large plate down here. So what you do is you, you lay the pole down, you grab that small plate which only weighs a kilo or two, and you bolt that to the bottom. 
Yet again, we provide all the fixings. You then grab the whole pole with that little plate, sit it on top, and there's just four screws into the base. All about installation. Our competition, you have to try and bolt this big pole to the big floor plate. Now, if, you, if you're there by yourself, trying to hold you know, a 25 kilo plate and trying to hold a bolt a pole and everything to it can be quite difficult. So Vogels have come up with that installation technique. But here's just some of the options of what you can do with our floor stands and ceiling mounts. So as you can see, single landscape, portrait, extra large screens you use two poles, back to back, video walls, floor to ceiling, very popular floor to ceiling, you know. Uh, or then you go the floor mounted options. There you go, a nice video wall. And that video wall you can see on the very left there, you could have that 100 screens wide if you really wanted to. As long as you've got a pole every second screen, no worries. And it's because you've got single pole options, dual pole, etc, etc. So, there's options galore. Video walls, extremely popular. Any of you selling video walls at the moment? Yeah? Video walls are very, getting very, very popular in Australia, especially for retail, because it's a good way to sell stuff. You know, that's what we're all in business for, to sell and make money. So video walls, because they can obviously scroll through different features and sales things. This is a new system called Connect It. It's very similar to our ceiling mounts and floor standing range. The wall plates themselves, that silver bar you see on the pole there, that's available up to 3.3 metres wide and various sizes in between. And yet again, you can join those. So you can have a 100 metre long wall plate if you wanted to. Yeah, 100 screens on there, easily. Uh, top adjustments. Now this is quite critical to the, to the um, install. Pass one of these around again for you. I'm gonna stop standing on that. This is the interface for our video wall strips. You mount that to the screen. It's got the same locking mechanism as the previous bracket we saw. The key to this though, is on the top of the bracket. All up here, you've got vertical adjustment, you've got top in and out adjustment, and bottom in and out adjustment. So when you're doing a two by two or a three by three video wall, you can make sure every screen is perfectly aligned. Now, with the video wall, it's very hard to get your hand in here to release this mechanism, like we, you do on the other one. So they've come up with this one where you push the button, and that unlocks it. So you just need to get in from the top to unlock it, and then you can pull it out, and you've also got a service position as well. So you get a nice angle from the wall. But if you want to lock it down, make it a bit more secure, you just then tighten this all the way in, and then you can't push it down, you can't unlock it. Little things like that. Vogels actually estimate that compared to individual brackets doing a video wall, using this system, although it's a more expensive system per screen, you'll actually save approximately 40% of time. Now, if you equate that to a bigger wall and $100 plus an hour for the installation, that's significant. Significant saving from, from using a better system. Um, the good thing is with those connected interface bars, the long ones, they can be mounted to our floor stands or ceiling mounts as well. So two poles on the ceiling, one strip, makes installation a lot easier. And um, yeah, so the 40% saving, which is there as well. So here's an example. So you get three of our interface bars. Let's say we're doing a three by three, three of those. Nine of the strips, we sell them as pairs. So it'd be silly to sell them singularly, but they're sold as pairs. And then that creates your video wall. So installation look like that without any screens on or like this with screens. Simple. But in case you're doing larger walls, we actually recommend proper pop-out brackets. Now the advantage of a pop-out bracket, a pop-out bracket, is that you can access individual screens. So if you go back to that previous system, uh, this one, if you need to get to that centre screen here, you get to put these three screens around it into that service mode, and then you've got access to that centre screen. That's fine. It's a bit of a pain, but that's what you get for the lower price point, etc. Whereas with this system, you can actually walk up to any of the screens in that 3x3, 
press on the screen lightly and the screen will come straight forward. So you've got full access. From there, you've got a service position, as you can see here. Uh, yet again, all the adjustments are on top of the bracket, so it makes it easy. And the beauty of that is that when the screen's flat in amongst all the others, is that you can actually adjust it while it's in its home position. You don't have to pull it out, adjust, push it back. Uh, maximum 72 kilo weight rating. Now, the advantage of this bracket is if you want to recess a screen, it's kind of hard to do with certain brackets, but this is beautiful because you, because you can just push it back and it's great. You can actually have a, almost a zero bezel around the screen, so it's ultra flush. But we've actually sold these for really large screens. If you want to put a 98 inch on it, as long as a Visa fitment fits, which is 600 by 400, and the weight's less than its recommended weight capacity, you can put any screen you want on these. So you can have a 85 inch, weighs 60 odd kilos, single screen recess, no problems. Because otherwise the recommended screen size is, uh, is 65, I think, on these. We also provide dedicated spaces. This is a key to the installation. These spaces are made per screen. So it's made, if you use an NEC screen or a Samsung screen or whatever screen it might be, this screen is made for that exact, uh, spacer is made for that exact model number. So the whole idea is you mount one bracket. Find that where that needs to go, bang. The spacer then mounts into the corner, as you can see in the picture, and then perfectly lines all the brackets around it. Just yet again, it reduces your installation time. It's all about time saving. Time is money. Uh, and that's for both, um, we've got portrait versions of this bracket as well as landscape versions. So we have spaces depending. Screens are just getting bigger and bigger, as we all know. In Australia, it's uh, more prevalent than, say, in Europe, because houses are much smaller in Europe. So we had to bring out a range of extra large brackets. Uh, this, starting with this one, the PFW 6850. So the 6850, it's this, we call this the heavy duty thin 345, because it's ultra flat. It's only 37 mil when it's flat against the wall. But the beauty of this bracket is it can extend 760 mil out from the wall. So it's got a massive extension on it. Uh, so dual stud mountable. So this wall plate is 400 wide, so 400 mil studs, not a problem. And what I love about this is that the wall plate, or the arm, you can actually mount in three different positions here on the wall plate. So you've got flexibility there. You can tilt, you've got a level adjustment, everything on there as well, and a maximum 45 kilos. Is that the largest reach? Uh, I'd say it is, yeah. It would definitely be the longest reach. The design mount is probably our next one. That's about 730, I think it is. But yeah, definitely that one. But in case you've got a really large screen, this is what we call the beast. It'll take anything up to a 98 inch. It's only got a 380 mil uh, ex extension on it. But two major things about this. You can grab the screen and put it between portrait and landscape just, just by grabbing it and rotating it. But not just that, it can hold 227 kilos. <laughs> so a 98 inch with a touch screen overlay on it could easily run into 180 kilos, you know, depending on the brand. Well, you gotta make sure it's secured anyway, yeah. <laughs> Let's put it that way. Um, we had a customer buy this for their home recently, when it was first released. And the reason is, they only had a small surface area of wall where they could mount it to. <laughs> either side, either side they had windows, so they didn't want a 65 inch to cover half of their windows. So what they would do, it was recessed slightly, the screen would be put into portrait, and pushed back into the recess, and then when they want to watch it, they'd pull it out, rotate it back. Why not? The great thing is we had the solution for them. And it's very rare we have to turn people away because we, uh, we can have solutions for almost anything. Tablets, tablets, we sell, you know, the tablets are being sold left, right and centre and we have a secure range of tablet enclosures called Tablock. These are designed for the iPad mini and iPad 10 inch. Uh, we also have Samsung versions as well for the Galaxy tabs. Uh, check the brochure and then also call us for stock as well because we don't carry a lot of the Samsungs because we don't sell a lot of them. What's really nice about the key lock that goes into the side and they're key to like. So if you've got 100 holders, one key will suit all, which is nice. And the front, 
It's a, it's a nice brushed aluminium and it's fingerprint free. So if you've got greasy fingers, no problems. So great for, you know, secure, security conscious areas, I should say. What's really nice about these, you get two versions. You get one with the iPad home button hidden or full access to the iPad. So it just depends where it's going. We've sold a couple of these into a home. You need full access to the home button. But in more secure areas, museums, that sort of stuff, you want to be locked into a program, you get the version that you, they can't go and press the home button and start playing games. Although you'd be silly to have games on your iPad if it's going into a commercial area. But uh, uh, another thing is these, you've also got a range of accessories such as floor stands, cab um, bench top stands, a nice little angle bracket as well, hold up, to, up to 28 degrees for your iPad. Projector mounts, projector mounts, uh, these are our award winning projector mounts. Uh, they're available in two different sizes, so a 15 kilogram weight capacity and a 25 kilogram weight capacity. And then in three different versions, you've got flush against the ceiling, height adjustable, and then you've got a fixed pole length. Oh yeah, that's right. Fixed pole length as well, up to three meters. Uh, the height adjustable model and the fixed versions are available in white as well as the silver black. Uh, and then the fixed pole length is only silver black. But what's really nice about this cable management as usual, easy to adjust the height, but they've also got fine tune adjustments. So you get a nice long Allen key with it, and the Allen key goes into the side here of the projector mount as well as the front. And what that allows is you put that in and as you swivel the Allen key, it actually tilts the projector or it rolls the projector. So it's not loosening a screw and then moving it and then tightening it up again. It's as you're moving it, it as you're moving the Allen key, it's tilting the projector. The advantage there is if you want to do something like an um, uh, interactive whiteboard like we've got here, which has to be critical in its alignment, it's perfect for that application. Also have projector cages available as well. The nice thing about these cages, they've got there's two sizes. They've actually got quite a bit of um, access into the projector if need be. So you, you might be able to get full access to the projector, change all the filters or change the globe without actually having to take the cage off. That's pretty impressive. Uh, we had a case once where an installer bought such a small projector, the smallest cage we had, they could still just grab the projector and pull it out from the front of the cage. Yeah, not ideal, obviously, but uh, once it's mounted to the projector bracket and everything, it probably would have been fine, but he was just worried that someone might try and take it. But all the screws we provide on all the projector mounts are security screws, so you don't have to worry about You need a special Allen key to be able to take those off. An example of some of the other products we do, we've got projector lifts, commercial projector lifts, which have up to a 2.8 metre drop. We have motorised stands. The beauty of these stands uh, is one, they've got 60 centimetres of vertical travel, they come fully assembled and they take a 160 kilogram weight rating. So perfect for education market, big fat screen with a touch screen overlay, already assembled. You just hold the button for it to manoeuvre so you don't squash the little Johnny and then raise it up when you need it. Great, great solution. Small range of desk mounts including dual screen adapters um, on there as well. And then VC furniture. Are you doing much VC work at all? No? Video conferencing? No. Anyway, you've got a nice range of furniture if that's what you need. Yet again, it comes fully assembled. Some accessories. Portrait or landscape rear covers for the floor stands and ceiling mounts. Uh, H beam, I beam, girder clamps, whatever you want to call them, two different sizes there. Uh, locks for the for the strips. We've got the bar coupler as you can see over the left hand side there. White inserts, so a room like this where you might have the silver pole, you don't really want the black insert because it wouldn't really look right in here, so you get the white inserts. White ceiling trim, white covers for the pole. Makes it look really, really nice. For the floor stands, trolleys and ceiling mats, we have lockable cabinets as well as just plain shelving. If you want to sit a DVD player or a laptop, you name it, you can put it in there. And uh, also an accessory holder. This is very new. So this slots into the back or the front of the pole into this channel here. And all it does, it's, it's depth adjustable and unlimited height adjustment, but it basically just clamps onto any box and just holds the box in position. So if you're doing digital signage, it's a great place to to put your, uh, your digital box right there. 
Now, one thing you might have noticed if you've had a quick flick through the brochure is that, especially when you're looking at the ceiling mounts uh, side of things, you're looking at a godly amount of different options available. So, you know, five different ceiling plates. You know, you've got 10 different interface bars and strips. It's just how do I find the perfect solution? So Vogels actually came up with this idea called the Pro AV Mount Advisor. And you can find this on the website. You just find this, whoop, this one here, and you click Try Now. And it'll take you to a section on the website. When it loads up. Ta-da. All right, so from here, you just follow the steps. So let's go with display. Click on the display, then from there you add in details of the screen. Does anyone know a screen model number off the top of their head? <laughs> Alright, let's just go on ME46C. Alright, so then what you do is you wait, and it should already have that screen in its database. So then you select the screen, and you'll notice it's filled out all the information you need in the middle there. So screen size, weight, visa, landscape or portrait. Anyone? Portrait? portrait? It's funny, the two sessions I've had, both people have picked portrait. All right, well, we'll go with ceiling mount because it tends to be the more complicated product to try and spec. So you just click on ceiling. From there, we'll go a single screen, we'll make it easy. All right, what type of ceiling do, have we got? Anyone? Inclined. Inclined, perfect. Inclined. What drop do we want? 80, one and a half, three metres? One and a half, perfect. So it's, as you can see, it's a very simple thing you can just do straight from the website. You don't need any special software or anything to run this. And each time you're pressing something, it's eliminating a whole heap of products and eliminating. So now we have inclined up to 90 degrees or we have inclined multi-directional. So the multi-directional will give you up to 60 degrees but allow you to move, maneuver the pole into a different position. Let's go with inclined multi-directional. Something different. There you go. There's your bill of materials. Simple. So you'll need a 2515, a PUC 1080, 3304s, 3405s, but we're not finished. You click on next. <laughs> what you can do there is add some accessories. So let's add, let's add the rear cover, let's add the accessory clamp, and I'll go the lock, why not? And then you click PDF. Now from here, you can add information. So if I add radio parts, uh, no, no, I'll put, here we go, I'll put, put John. All right, whatever it might be, let's say the TAB. So then what you do, you, can, you don't have to add this information, you can leave it blank if you want. Then you click download PDF, and this will produce a PDF you can um, send to your customers, send to us to give you a price on it. Whatever it might be, we can do this for you. Um, and, or you can just file it against a particular quote. Simple. So it tells us the screen information, tells us the selected criteria, tells us the parts you need to make that ceiling mount. There's the accessories. And your information, oh, it's on the second page. And there's the, and there's your information in case you need to file it against a particular project. Little things like that make it very, very simple. But what you can also do, actually, where have I gone? Um, cancel, actually, where's it gone? Here it is. So let's, let's go to um, this one that I did earlier. So this is a different screen. You can even just, as you get all these boxes appear, you can actually just go back to any of those steps by pressing one of those boxes. I'm going to do a video wall system now. Now video walls, yet again, can be quite complicated. So you just select, keep going through the selection criteria again. Alright, what size video will we want, people? 25 by 25. Perfect. 25 by what? 25? Yeah. No worries. Making their own home cinema. <laughs> so, now this is starting to think. Now we'll go with the the connected video wall system because that seems to be a lot easier. Oh, a lot harder to do, I should say. So that's the on a flat wall. If you start going recessed and stuff, it'll put you straight into the pop-outs. And then we'll go fixed. So what this now will tell you 
is that you will need, it's doing its calculations, whoa, you'll need the bar coupler by 175 times, you'll need the 1.9 metre by 25, the 3.3 metre by 175 times, and then the actual strips by 625 pairs. That's a lot of screens, that's a nice job. <laughs> So, could you imagine trying to work that out manually? Mm. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Uh, look, I do this, I could easily do video wall systems pretty quick because I've got a calculator at work, and, but they, even that would take me a while just to make sure it's right. Mm. So little things like that make a big difference. All right? And yet again, fully available through the website. So in summary for the professional, Quality products. It's all about quality for us. Uh, you know, the Dutch, they're all design orientated. Installer focused. So quick, easy installation, saving, saving time and more importantly money. The TVGS, the five times rating, peace of mind for the customer. You know, the only thing holding back the product is the installation. Unfortunately, we can't guarantee that. Uh, all professional, I should say, is a five year guarantee. Unless it's an automated product, then it's two years. Uh, how all the hardware yet again is included and there's 40 years of design experience behind each and every product that's built. So it's got a good pedigree Vogels. It's got a good name out there. Vogels has definitely got a good name out there. Questions? You know also you can find with the domestic brackets you can search, you can put TV and it gives you the recommended bracket. For the yeah, so there's another product on the consumer side um, called, uh, where is it? So if I go consumer, we've got a thing called the, the flat screen fitter. So if you're on the, this is the consumer side, flat screen fitter just there, just click on that. And yet again, it's similar sort of steps but not as complicated. So you just choose the brand. Uh, so what do we have? Uh, <laughs> Don't think that's in there, unfortunately. Um, oh, well, let's go Fujitsu. Uh, don't think Fujitsu make TVs anymore. Let's say 46 inch. Pick the model, or search for the model, and then you click go, go, and then it'll search through their database, put the relevant specs together to give you the recommended brackets. Yeah. So we always have three recommended brackets at the top, and then every other bracket that'll fit it underneath. So there's one for consumer, one for commercial as well, so, yeah. Any other questions? Oop. Excellent. Well, that is Vogel's consumer. Thank you. Thank you very much. Now, actually, you haven't finished yet, I hate to tell you. <laughs> and can't get out of here that quick. So we also do another brand, which is starting to get, we're starting to get a bit more traction, you guys are starting to get a bit more, called Future Automation, Automated Solutions. Have you sold many automated solutions like TV, lifts, etc. before? No, all right. So this is a range available to you guys that, uh, that is on your website, if you didn't already know, um, called Future Automation. So Future Automation is the market leader in flat panel um, mounting solutions and high-tech automated devices. Okay. Uh, we've got an unrivaled selection in the range and it's all innovative, innovative uh, product range is manufactured to the highest possible standards. Basically they don't compromise on quality so why should your customers, right? Or you. So found in the 1990s, Future Automation is, uh, was a company that was founded from Bang & Olsen. The, the guys who own the company used to work for B&O and they used to make all this sort of product for B&O customers and they just gone, well, we can make this for anyone who wants to pay for it. So the Future Automation was founded. Based in Hertfordshire in the UK, uh, all products are actually made in the UK. And when I say all products, I mean a lot of the components, probably 95% of the components in each product is manufactured by Future Automation. So they don't, the key is they don't rely on outside, you know, bits of metal or certain things to compromise their design. Everything's made in-house. Certain motors and screws and all that sort of stuff, that's, that's you know. Um, combination of functionality, quality and aesthetic appeal. Uh, there's also a custom design facility. So if you want the lift to be slightly wider, slightly taller, slightly deeper, 
do something slightly different, no problems. That can be done. And beyond audiovisual, you know, because you know, you've, why not have your cellar door move or move your sofa? Why doesn't everyone? So TV lifts, starting with our standard AL675. This is a, a straight up lift. So what happens is when the lift comes out, it pushes the lid up out of the way. TV's on display, and when the lid comes back, it just comes back down again. Very, very standard. It's on the website, um, and we stock this particular product. Then you've got the one next to it, and you notice there's no lid on that one at all. That's because the lid actually drops into the cabinet and rolls out of the way. Then the TV will come up. And you'll see that in um, this next photo. Yet again, that's got that drop and roll lid. There's a nice floor lift. It's all about quality, you know, they want it to be about the TV, not about the, the motor that moved it into position. You know, there's no giant gaping holes left in the cabinet or floor or motors and pulleys and cables and all that sort of stuff in the ceiling. It's all about the product, uh, the TV especially. Here's an example of the difference between an Aussie made version and the UK made version. As you can see, you've got a, a giant hole with the flap at the back, you've got a giant metal casing that covers all the motor and everything. The thing I like, I don't like about this one is that you've got a massive hole where a cat, dog, toy, <laughs> child could fall into. You know, none of that with ours. Lift with swivel, because uh, you want to be able to view it from the dining room as well as the lounge room on your nice yacht. That is a yacht. Uh, this one here lifts up and swivels 180 degrees left or right, motorised. <laughs> you can't see it here, but that's that's the lift there. It's in it's halfway through its rotation to be able to go to the dining room and living room. Very quiet. Very very quiet. If you want to swivel, but the problem is you need to have it against the wall. You can't actually have it swivel that much because it's up against the wall. So we have a lift with hinge. So the lift lifts up, lifts up, and then hinges from that way. Either either way, you've got to choose left or right. And the beauty there is you can have the cabinet up against the wall and hinge it out. Simple. Here's an example of the lid, the drop and roll lid. Uh, as you can see, it's slightly sped up because people don't normally walk that fast. But uh, look at this. Seals off the top again. So you don't see that hole. Here's the hinge version itself. And then watch the lid as it goes back in. All about the aesthetics. Why not have it come out from under your bed? <laughs> Everyone should have one. So these come straight out, lift up, and there's even a version that can then rotate the screen around if you need it to. Why not? That's kind of cool. It looks like a tank. <laughs> PSE 90, another product we stock and that is on your website. So this is a motorised swivel mount for up to a uh, 65 inch screen and it'll give you 90 degree swivel. You have to order it in a clockwise or a counterclockwise direction, but it comes out and swivels like such. Beautiful, quiet, amazing how quiet it is. And that comes fully assembled as is. So you just need to bolt it to the wall and then attach the screen to it, run your cables, turn on, away you go. And amazing, how, yet again, amazing how quiet it is. EAD. People in their homes have a tendency to mount the screens too high. For whatever reason, because that's where they saw it in the shop, or they've got a fireplace in the way, whatever it might be, this product here, the E Advance, Electric Advance and Drop, EAD, brings the screen forward and then down, drops about 300 mil down. So it just brings it to the right height. Projector mounts, uh, as compared to the Vogels range, this is more a, a domestic range, so a lot nicer looking at a domestic situation. Uh, very simple, there's a few different models there with different drops. What I like about this is one, they're fully controllable as with all of our products. Uh, but yet again, this rod here, you can see here, that one there, you can actually mount it in various positions on the on the framework. Now what that does, when you mount it slightly higher, when the drip lift drops, it'll actually automatically tilt the basket. And then when it goes back up, it'll go back straight, and then go back up again. Little things like that they've thought of to make it perfect. Full cable management, 
great lifts. If you've got too high a ceiling, why don't you have a flip down from the back wall? Easy. Speaking of flips, the ceiling hinge, uh, one of our more popular products. Uh, this is also one of our quietest products. I'm gobsmacked each time I hear one of these. Uh, so this one here has got, it sits flat in the ceiling, there's only 213 mil of space in the ceiling it takes up. It screen flips down to 100 degrees, so it's facing down slightly. The advantage uh, of this product mainly is its looks and how quiet it is, because a lot of these tend to go into a bedroom. I went to a house recently to help with some final adjustments of one, and I hadn't heard one for a couple of years. So I pressed, grabbed the remote, pressed out, turned around to the cupboard to do something. And I'm like, oh, mustn't be going yet. Turned around, it was already halfway through its rotation. Absolutely silent. I, every time I had to do it, I was just gobsmacked as to how quiet it was. It really is amazing. Uh, if you can hear one for yourself, it is truly amazing. So I sell lots. Uh, Hinge with swivel, because you want to view it from the kitchen or from the pool or from wherever, so it flips down and then you've got 180 degree left or right swivel. Here's an example yet again of the Australian made version versus ours. Yet again, no pulleys, no cables, no motors that are visible. Pulleys, cables, motors visible. Um, it's, it's chalk and cheese. Admittedly, our product, our, our cost price, or sorry, your cost price versus their retail price, we're still more expensive in that regard. So you pay a lot more for ours, but it's quality. It's quality, quality, quality. Um, so make sure, you know, if you, someone wants the ultimate, that's the ultimate. You don't have to pay for it. Ceiling mounts, vertical out of the ceiling. So if you've got plenty of space in the ceiling space, these are a lot more affordable compared to the hinges. These vertically drop down. And that's also got that lift and roll lid. So it lifts up into the ceiling, rolls up out of the way, and it drops down. What about, you've got your world famous Van Gogh or Monet or uh, on the wall, that's exactly where you want your TV. What am I gonna do? Put it behind the picture, simple. Recess the TV in, the motor recesses into the wall, your artwork works over the top of that, and then the artwork just lifts up out of the way or drops down out of the way, whichever way you choose, to reveal the TV. Or, Cut it in half. No, you wouldn't cut your picture in half. <laughs> you get an artwork commission that uh, that is like this one. It looks like one piece, but it splits open to reveal the TV. What I love about this one is that the whole mechanism is surface mounted. You don't actually have to recess the motor or anything. It's all surface mounted, and then just splits open. Could be safe. Sorry? Could be safe. Well, that brings me to my next point in actual fact. Future Automation estimate that probably 40% of the installations of the picture splits, picture lifts, AV equipment doesn't go behind it. Safes, bars, uh, you know, or Anchorman, you know, your cologne collection. You know, it's um, entirely up to the customer what they want to put behind there. A doorway, who knows. Sliding panel system or SPS, this is probably our biggest uh, wow piece. because. Uh, Basically, it's the ultimate in concealing your TV, in, in our opinion. And the best way to show it is by looking at the video. So you've got a wall. Now, yet again, we only provide the mechanism, so whatever you want to do as a wall is yours. A section of that recesses in and lifts up or drops down within the wall to reveal your TV. Now, the standard size TV on this is anything up to about an 85 inch. Various sizes there, depending. And the TV then pushes out to fill the gap. How cool is that? Seriously. Quite a few boardrooms put these sort of things in. They don't want to make AV the focus of the room. Hide the TV. So don't let... The, any situation could have something like this. So don't be limited, oh, it's just a domestic product. Anyone can have it. Who's willing to pay for it? They can have it. Millimetre perfect. You've probably got to two to five mil gap around that whole TV. So it's, yeah, it's pretty cool, don't you think? There's also another version of this. Um, it's got a what's called a QA or at the end of it. So the TV will then push out and then swivel. So in case you mounted it into the corner there and you're sitting over here. 
got money, you can pay for anything. Yeah. <laughs> Custom solutions available. Now what you're going to see is done in, in London last year, or the year before. Uh, this was a custom solution for um, a gentleman and look, something like this probably wouldn't happen in Australia because someone from Future Automation was on site for like a month and a half or two months or something. They were there every day helping with this. But this is sort of some of the stuff they've been involved with. So you have your living room. Where, where's that coffee table going? Oh, okay. Oh. The sofa is now moving to cover that coffee table. Well, what's that? A second row of seats behind that, underneath that original couch, which will then lift up to convert the living room into a home theatre room. Now what you're not seeing here, there's also a projector that's moved, uh, there's a door moved and that's slid out into position. The curtains are all closed. So it shows the quality, the craftsmanship of what they can come up with. Pretty cool. I think it's one of those in their house. <laughs> they told me they severely underquoted for that job. They quoted about 30,000 pounds to do it. Which is, they said, oh, you know, that's, that's, they sort of went in a bit cheap to win the deal. They got the deal, and they found out the carpets and drapes were about 25,000 pounds, pounds worth. Without the rest of it. <laughs> Without the rest of it. So just the, just the, that, they go, well, hang on, we're doing moving couches and projectors and yet again. Pretty amazing, isn't it? Apparently it's got sensors all through the couch, so if anyone's sitting on it, it won't move. And, but apparently some of them don't work properly so because of whatever reason, so kids are going for rides on the couch. <laughs> I would. <laughs> With all the products online, you can download all the tech data for all the products. So whether it be a ceiling hinge or the, the SPS, all the tech data is there. It gives you all the dimensions of the products, what you'd need to cut out of the ceiling or whatever it might be to, to get the perfect fit. So uh, all that's available online free, just on the appropriate product page, just click download tech data instructions. There's also CAD files available, so if you've got an architect or someone who's using a, uh, a drawing program, they can import the product into, the, into their layout and just get it perfect for them for themselves so they can actually have it in there. No problems. We've also got these as well online, so on certain products you might need to build a cabinet like the lifts. So we have the cabinet specification tool. So here on the website you'll see a green button, you press that and then all you do is add in height width depth of the, uh, the plasma. So let's say it's 45 by 870 by 1100. Press search and what that'll do, it'll actually draw the cabinet up for you. So it'll tell you this is the internal dimensions of what you need for that particular lift. So you need a lift that's 1320 internal. You need it, it's, you know, so there's little things like this to help. You can, you can have the cabinet as big as you want on the outside of those dimensions, just the internal heights have to be that. So little things like that. Make it, make it easy for you guys. You've also got um, a projector specification tool. So yet again, you just type in the height with depth of the projector and it'll tell you which lift you need to use. So in summary of the brand, uh, high quality automated solutions. They are the best, that the best in the world, without a doubt. Quietest in the market, without a doubt. You know, the key to that is quietness. And a lot of people, oh, you know, this, this one. But if you're comparing something that's really noisy versus really quiet, I guarantee you, people will pay the extra to go to quiet every time. And I'm not saying we're expensive on everything. A lot of products were actually cheaper than any Australian made version. So. Uh, full custom solutions are available, uh, so if you need that extra height with depth, whatever it might be, no problems. Um, full control on all products, one thing I didn't touch on, they all come with an IR remote to be able to control it initially. But they've got in-house, an in-house electronic board they've made themselves that can take any control system you want to throw at it. Because I know these are going into multi-million dollar residential buildings, yachts, whatever. Crestron got AMX, got control for whatever it might be. So they need to be compatible with that, and they are. And full backup and support. So 
we're the importer, Canome. They're based in the UK, we liaise with them and make sure if there's any issues, we're here to help you guys out, no problems. Most of the time we found it's installer error. You know, they've all got kill switches on them. Most of the phone calls I get, that kill switch has been pulled out. All you need to do is plug it back in and away you go. So they are great products that got a great life cycle on them. They're built to last. So at Future Automation, we know the secret of hiding technology. You do now. I'll just put that there. 